sadly, the the com- the computer has sort of stalled. It it just sort of hangs up. So um, maybe next week it'll be working, and I'll be able to do more of a sort of storytelling uh, show with bits of clip, because it is it is sort of prepared. I basically work my way through. Um, I've got the having a wonderful time down to about three clips and then the fugues come in in various ways and um, I can represent my situation what I'm thinking about video YouTube and management theory conferences as a sort of um, recurring drift in a storytelling sort of way but without the clips I think I'm just, I, may, I may be a bit more literal so you'll just have to bear with me as I try and explain it, because I, I do try and um, create at least one new clip with each show. So what what it is, um, I've been, I, I got into this radio uh, situation through trying to do video, and it's been obvious for some time that social media, which it wasn't known as then, uh, is an alternative, quite a viable alternative to television and sound promotion and so forth uh, but quite how it works out we don't know how that's going to be um, so management theory might help I was I was involved in doing social media for a, a conference called management theory at work and that hasn't happened in face to face as they say um, but there's, there's been the social media phase was quite good. There's quite a lot of content comes out if you search on MTWR. No, MTW3. M- MTW3 is is the what what started out as a proper academic conference. MTWR is the radio version of that because uh, I sort of ended up thinking, well, you might as well do radio as the case study for that, and uh, that that. Uh, also works. You can search on either of those as hashtags, and you you will find something. And then uh, last last year, as part of Dark Times, we had a day at uh, the Bike Shed Theatre, and uh, it was it was quite good. People did turn up in small numbers during the day, and I think we got we got something out of it. And again, there is there is some content around that. So. What what I'm trying to do this this year is just ch- just use the summer phase to to recap on that and see see where we are, and it's just the sort of thing which people seem very reluctant to talk about. There must there must be people trying to work out what's happening with radio or with YouTube or whatever, um, but it's very hard to come by information. There is something called YouTube Red, which is available in the United States and allows the people who produce video to get a a, a proportion, very low proportion of the subscription income and this I thought was was good for academic conferences or uh, sort of non-fiction content the sort of hardback book aspect of things Um, I think with with performance with music I I can't really see people going away from a free option I think that's got to be part of it and therefore the advertising has got to be in there somewhere although it is very annoying and maybe there's some way around it um, but everything seems to be completely stuck um, I think it, I think there's some sort of negotiation going on between the record companies and YouTube uh, just about their their sort of content and I, I can see both sides of that it's, it seems that um, YouTube believe they only operate as a platform so people fans upload tracks there as it happens they have a database so they know exactly who has the rights to all those tracks and they may or may not survive there Um, but they they think that for some reason they shouldn't pay the same sort of money to the record companies or through the record companies to the performers as is paid on the streaming services so I I can see there's something to negotiate there but I don't see why everything should be held up completely and life made almost impossible for other people who just want to find some some mechanism whereby video can be afforded. 
uh, which just seems to be going on and on and on. And in, in terms of drift, the other thing is is the um, the Radio One Academy. Again, I've got clips. There are clips on YouTube. If if you look there, there's a there, there is a playlist which I I could have played, and I might play next week some some bits of that. But that was that was quite interesting in all in all of this because. Uh, the Radio One, um, what do they call it? Sorry, so my, my mind, my mind has gone. The few, the Fugues clip would fit in here. Uh, what's, what's it called? The live, the live lounge. Their, their, their sort of performance bit is on YouTube. But they also have um, a Vivo channel, so they've, they've got some sort of idea of how they uh, market their music outside the UK, and I imagine there's some sort of income coming back. And whatever that model is, uh, anybody could could use it. Presumably on a smaller scale, obviously, but uh, something like that could happen. Anyway, um, that's a very non-storytelling description of a situation. Um, so there will be some. I think we'll we'll try and get back to the um, Bike Shed Theatre. Quite when I don't know. I will tweet about that. Uh, will seven eight nine GB. And we might take some lighting there. That was the big problem last last year. That it's a, uh, dark times is a very good very phrase for it, because um, it, it it's the theatre bit is lit, but the uh, the bar bit not not really. Uh, anyway, I might I might mumble a bit more. I've got till till ten o'clock um, to say say some more. But I think that's that's roughly the situation. So if you've got anything to contribute that would fit in with that. It may turn up as a day conference about radio or management theory or something else or just a clip on a on a on a radio show now I think which these two CDs is the best one to play I'm gonna I'm gonna try this one <laughs> 